Hello everyone and welcome to another Q&A video from 3dgameman.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds. Now, this is a question that I've been asked a number of times and I figured I'd do a Q&A video on it because, you know, it will clear up all the confusion or I hope it will clear up most of the confusion at least. So what's the difference between the Silverstone AIO coolers? Now I'm talking about the E, the light and the slim. So there's essentially three different models. You have the E, the light, and the slim. Now in each one of these, you have the TDO2 and TDO3. The TDO3 is the 120 millimeter rad version. The TDO2 is the 240 millimeter rad version. And as you can see, the performance is best on the E. That is the one to go for if you want the best performance. You are going to pay for it though. Although it does come with a five year warranty. The thickness, by the way, is the same as the light. The radiator, though, the fin pattern is different. It's straight instead of zigzag. And also the water block housing is aluminum as opposed to plastic. The pump is an acrylic pump instead of a plastic pump that's on the outside of the, you know, the pump cap. The copper base bond is soldered instead of being screwed down. And that's better in a way because it comes in direct contact, you know, with with the uh, CPU and the block. Also, there's no imperfections there on the surface at all. Mounting brackets. Well, this one has an extruded aluminum and the others are steel. The back plate is steel. The others are plastic. So let me just go through the others here. So you have the light that's in the middle. It's very good performance. It's not so expensive. Although again, it comes with a two year warranty like the slim. The thickness again of the rad plus the fan is the same at 54 millimeters, but the slim and it has a purpose, right? The slim, you want to put that into a system where you have, you know, limited space. So the rad plus the fan on the slim is 37 millimeters. And that's one of the reasons why it's not going to perform as good, but everything else is the same when it comes to the light and the slim. You have the reader, a thin array is zigzag. The water block housing is plastic. The pump cap is plastic. The copper base bond is screwed together. The mounting bracket is steel and the back plate is plastic. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video and it has been informative. Remember, if you like this video, thumb it up, share, subscribe. Your comments are always welcome. And if you have a question for me, post it and I'll get to it as soon as I can.